<laughs> Look at how stinking cute this mug is. Hello, spring. Hey guys, oh, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kara. And I have a fashion and beauty blog. Today's video is going to be the top five handbag and purse trends for spring 2019. So I'm super excited to do this video. I'm really trying to showcase like in my fashion videos, affordable style. Like you don't have to go out and spend a million dollars to look like a million dollars. Come on, let's just be real. So last week I put out a video of the top 10 trends for fashion for spring. So I tried to showcase all these affordable styles that you can get just about anywhere. Or if you're like me, you like to order online now because you're just like, you just got so much going on. You know, you just have time to try on things at home and not really make it to the mall or the stores. So let's go ahead and just dive right into the video. So the first trend is actually going to be the transparent bag. Now, this has started to like become a little bit more popular now that you know stadiums and um, sporting events don't really let you bring in bags that aren't transparent, most places, I guess. So this has become kind of a more popular trend. So this style I actually found on ASOS. I thought this style was like really stinking cute. This is more of like a sphere look. So this is kind of almost like incorporating another spring trend that I saw a lot on the runways, which is the clamshell clasp trend. Uh, this one's just a little bit different. This is obviously a little bit more on the trendy side than some of them will be. But I just thought it was like something super different and I love the gold accents on it as well. The next one is actually from ASOS as well. ASOS has been like kind of like my place recently. I feel like they have such affordable items. Hashtag not sponsored. I'm not plugging them because I'm getting paid for it. I'm plugging them because I think they have great prices. So this is from Misguided. This is the clear shopper bag in mini size. So what's a better way than to incorporate this trend into like using this as maybe your grocery shopping bag or you know something that you just carry all day like uh, maybe like a lunch bag or some especially for like $21 it's a super affordable price. The last one I thought was so stinking adorable and when I saw it I was kind of like oh, trendy Walmart. So this is the Eliza May Rose. This is the clear stadium crossbody. First of all, when I saw the straps, I thought Gucci. I just really love the silhouette of it. I love that it wasn't too big, but it was still probably just enough to like, you know, fill your bag. Me personally, probably not a translucent bag kind of girl because I'm not like one that like people need to see like all the shit I'm carrying around especially like my wallet. What about if I have like cash floating around in there? Like, I don't know. I'm not a translucent bag person. I'd probably lean more towards the shopping tote versus anything else. The number two trend that was super, super big last year and is carrying into this year is the straw bags. So I have, I, when I think spring and summer, I think straw bags. I just like always feel like they're a nice way to kind of like casually put together a look but also make it look like you're on trend as well. And I feel like it's something that never really goes out of style. Like nautical for spring, it never really goes out. It just kind of resurgence like in bigger statements during certain years. So this bag is from ASOS and I swear not everything is from ASOS people. <laughs> I swear. This is the um, straw clutch bag. This one is $24, which I think honestly for a straw clutch bag is a really good price. I, I love the kind of like tassel detail on it. I just thought it would be like super perfect for spring and summertime. And even like you could probably take this into the beginning of fall. Just saying. The next one is actually from Walmart. This is from the Time and True line. This is the Rainbow Palm Large Straw Tote. So I just thought this one was so stinking adorable. And for like a $20 price point, how can you like pass this thing up? 
This is so stinking adorable. I could use this for the beach. I could use this for like, just like going out shopping, whatever. I absolutely love it. So actually last year I was walking the mall one day and I came across um, H&M. I'm not a big H&M fan. I haven't really always found a lot in there that I feel like I can't live without. So, but I did find this cute bag in there one day and it was on the clearance shelf. So this is the, this is like a straw bag and it has pom poms on it and it has a cute little tie on the top. It was on clearance for $7. Now I'm not like, I usually when I find something cute on clearance, no matter what season it is, even if I can't use it until the next season, I still buy it just because I know I'm going to use it. So I just thought this bag was so stinking cute and for $7, it's like really big inside too. The next one is actually one I did purchase. So I bought a dress in Target. It's kind of like a burgundy um, striped dress. And when I was trying to think of like how I wanted to style it for my blog, I was like, I really want one of those round straw wicker rattan. So I really wanted one. I had been seeing them still all over Instagram. I and when I did like some online research, a lot of the ones I found were like $44, like $50. Like I was like, eh, I just like don't want to spend that much on a bag. So I actually found this one on Amazon. So this is the Round Rattan um, bag with snap class by Ovesta. So this one was $29.84. So I actually received it last weekend, I think, and I took it out. I went to brunch with one of the old buyers I used to work with, and I just like absolutely loved it. So just like clasp on the top, and then it has a long strap. You can crossbody it, or I just wear it on the shoulder. Absolutely loving this bag right now. So also when I was doing um, some research on Amazon about which one of these bags to buy, there was one that people had bought it and they're like, it smells absolutely terrible. And it was a little bit of a higher price point, but I kind of like the style a little bit better. And people were like, I did this to try to get the smell away. I did that to try to get the smell away. The smell's just not going away. So I actually came across this one and I was like, oh my gosh, like there's no reviews on it. It's smelly. Uh, it's a little bit less in cost. It's a little bit different style than the other one. But I was like, when I got it, didn't smell, was amazing, super happy with that purchase. I am obsessing over this bag this, this um, spring. Okay, the number three trend is going to be the mini duffel. So this one is actually like, I would say more, you could kind of do it two different ways. So you could do it super sporty, or you could do it more of the purse type. So this one is actually from Adidas. This is the Santiago duffel bag um, in pink, which I think their pink is absolutely stinking adorable. This one is $35. So this one is obviously a little bit on the smaller side, but you could use it for the gym. You could use it as your bag going to work. I know if you're like me, like I take so much stuff to work, which I'm, I don't even know why, but I do. So you could take it like that, or it could be like a nice small weekender bag, or you can go like this too. This is actually from Neiman Marcus last call. This is the, um, Stefano mini duffel bag. I just really love this one. So, and when you think duffel, think like that kind of like a rounded out shape. Sometimes they're actually even called barrel bags. So this one, I absolutely love. This one was actually on clearance for $29.75, which honestly is a really great price. I, I, especially for a black bag, I would say you could never go wrong with a price like that for a black bag. You'd get so much use out of it. And then the last one is actually from Soul Society. So this is the, uh, I believe it's the Zupa, Z-U-P-A. Uh, barrel satchel bag. So this is the one that's kind of calling it more of a barrel shape. So just kind of more of that rounded out shape. It does kind of have more of the flat bottom versus the duffel, which is a little bit like fully rounded. I absolutely love the color of this one. So this one I think was in the color tan or taupe. Um, and for a price of $32.48, I feel it's the same exact as the black one that you'd get just so much use out of this color. It could be for spring or it could be for fall. 
all year long. So the number four trend is going to be the crochet look. So I'm not a big crochet fan. When I was doing my like research on like crochet bags, a lot of what I came across was books on how to make your own crochet bags. Now, I don't really have the time for that. I would love to learn how to crochet, don't get me wrong. I just don't have the time. I did find a couple that I thought were pretty stinking cute. So this one is actually from Target. This is the Estee and Lily Macrame um, self-handle clutch. It actually looks like it's, it has a strap. So macrame and also crochet. They're a little bit different, but pretty much along the same lines. So this one was $34.99. I actually have never seen this brand in the store and it didn't say online if it was online exclusive or not. I really love the color of it. I thought like the nice muted kind of gray tone would be really good for, for spring or you could even like wear it in the winter as well. The next one is actually from TJ Maxx which kind of reminds me of the pom pom one. So this is the Sun and Sand Natural Crochet Straw Bag. So this one is straw, like trend number two, but it's crocheted straw. Ah, two trends in one. So this one was on their website for $19.99. I have actually seen um, sun and sand bags before, and I feel like they're pretty good quality. I wouldn't say they're like probably gonna last you for the rest of your life. For 20 bucks though, I think it's pretty good quality and I really love the um, tassel detailing on this one. And then the multicolor, of course, like when you think spring and summer, you think of bright colors, stripes, like pops of color within your accessories. And then this one I actually found on Amazon as well. So this is the Donald World Women's Beach Bag Round Straw Crochet Shoulder Summer. It's a crochet bag. Can we just like, can we just get rid of all that and just say crochet bag? So this one I really liked because it was like really big and I'm not exactly sure. Um, so when you clicked on the link of this one, it has multiple different types of bags and I think even including something like this. So, but this one was so stinking cute. I love the color that it's a very neutral color. It's so much capacity to it as well. And um, I just thought it would be perfect for kind of like a beach bag or if you're going to a festival or something because festival season is upon us people. So the fifth and final trend that I kind of see all of us embracing this spring season is the round bag trend. Yes, this one is round and it's incorporating the straw trend. Two trends in one people, this is what I like to utilize. So this one is actually from Old Navy. I love Old Navy bags. I think that they are some of the best quality for more of like a, they get a little gutsy on their pricing sometimes, um, but I think they're, they are good quality bags. I usually buy mine when they're on clearance. That's just how I am. So this is actually faux suede and faux leather crossbody. So they call them round bags or circle bags, either one interchangeable, it's the same term. So this one is $29.99, and I think it's only that high of a price because of the faux suede. Faux leather really isn't that expensive, so you're really paying for the faux suede. This one is from ASOS. This is the it Itchy Round Quilted Crossbody Bag bag in black. I'm starting to like combine words again. So honestly, to me, when I think of a bag that I would utilize the most, especially in a smaller crossbody style, I always want it in black too. I, I would love to have fun colors as well to incorporate into my spring style, but black is always like you cannot go wrong with. Even though it's not like a super spring color, you just still can't go wrong with it. So I love this one and I love the quilting detail on it. And it was on sale for $24 from 73. Uh, hello people, yes please. The final bag is actually from the Wild Fable collection from Target. So this is the straw tote handbag. So I really like this one. So this one is not like a small one. This is actually like a pretty super huge one that like hangs down your shoulder. So this one was $22 on Target.com. And I just loved that it incorporated the black and white stripe and that it was like really, 
like so much larger than some of like your like smaller crossbodies or clutches would be. I just think that it this would be perfect for spring and for fall. You could totally utilize this and transition it into the fall time frame as well, especially with the black and white stripe. I just think that it was so stinking and adorable and for $22, it's an amazing price for a bag this size, faux show. So some of the other trends that you'll see out there that I saw a lot on the runways, but I didn't see a lot out at stores that most of us probably frequent on a regular basis, say Target, Walmart, um, TJ Maxx, anything like that. So I would say some of your best options to do is to incorporate your spring colors. So the colors that are trending are the lavender, the marigold, the hot magenta, even like neon green is going to be a trending color for bags. And then also silver, like a very silver metallic tone is going to be trending as well. I don't really see myself carrying a silver bag on a regular basis, but you never know, you might find one that really like speaks to you. Another trend that you'll see is the printed nylon totes. When I think this trend, I think again, like a reusable tote bag that I can use at the grocery store, or if you just like to carry one around when you are out shopping and use that instead of the plastic or paper bags that they give you, those are perfectly always good to use no matter what. Let's save this earth, people. Another trend that is probably for more of the younger generation is going to be the hip pack or fanny pack to some people. It's still out there. It's still not going anywhere, especially with festival season coming up. Jansport has a ton of super cute ones if, and they have them for a pretty reasonable price. Even like the Herschel um, luggage company, they have a ton of fanny packs too that are at a great price and they have, they're so seen cute and Herschel is a really good brand that's like trending right now too. Looped handle bags are another trend. I don't really see this being a trend that is like super saturated in the market. I think I saw one on target.com, but it was like this kind of like canister bag with a looped handle. I don't see like it being like a trend that catches on. You're not gonna see it everywhere, so I'd say it, it's a trend, but I wouldn't spend the money on getting a bag like that. The clamshell clasp one is also one that you will be seeing out there. This one to me, I think more evening bags, like smaller evening bags with a nice like um, metal shoulder strap. So this is kind of more of a 1930s, 1940s, like this has been around for a while. Uh, but definitely I think evening bags or small clutches in that kind of way. There's also two smaller type bags. So one is called the micro with a chain. This one, you could probably fit some credit cards, maybe a lip gloss in it if you're lucky. I don't really see this making like a huge statement out anywhere. If you're like me, you carry a lot more stuff than just your credit card and your ID. So I like a little bit, I like a bigger purse with a little bit more capacity. And then also the lanyards. These, I really tried to search the internet and see what I could find. Anything I could find would had like Disney or like Mickey Mouse on it. So, so I was like, I don't really, ugh, I'm gonna have to hold off on that one. I, it's out there people, but if you ain't a Disney fan, you're probably ain't gonna find one that's really good. And then the final one that will be out there is the box trend. Again, this one, I don't really see it taking off anywhere. It's definitely more of that high-end designer type feel. I just, I think it's pretty interesting, but I just don't think it's for me. So that's it for the top five handbag trends for spring 2019. I feel like a lot of this we had seen last year and it's just kind of like a carryover. So if you've already bought into this trend, don't do it again. I mean, it's gonna change again probably next year, but I absolutely love some of these bags. And I really, I'm like obsessing over that Adidas mini duffel. I feel like I do need that in my life. I do, but I don't, I really, I don't but I do. Anywho, so that's it for the spring 2019 handbag trends. I really feel like the list I put together, even though it's short and sweet, only at five, is a very like compact 
list that you could also utilize two trends in one so round and straw you could get it done one shot and done that's what I love about fashion is like you can combine into different styles and it looks absolutely wonderful so if you like this type of video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on your way out I love to keep you around and I can't wait till the next videos come out. Like I have so many more videos I'm working on. So until next time guys, bye.